So we have made it to our location and at the moment I am a reflection in the side of my van. You can see how nice and shiny it is. And if you look at the reflection just there, you can see that lovely dam. And I think it's uh, Nantimont. And there's a beautiful, beautiful dam that we park next to. So there she is. Look at this. So that's our plan for the next 24 hours is to have this. We've got the beautiful water going off that way. It goes all the way round the back of this one and we're gonna go for a drive up here in a minute and take our way all the way up the top there just to see how far up we can get. I've had the drone up in the air. I'm sure that you've seen the massive intro of me with a drone and um, it's just been great to be able to have it out. And my word am I buzzing because I drove over the reservoir with the drone in the air. Absolutely been wanting to do that for such, such, such a long time. And that was awesome. So yeah, very, very pleased. And I even landed it on the roof while I was in the van. I thought that was so cool as well. So the plan, there is no plan. Zero plan, no plan whatsoever, apart from finding somewhere to park. And in all fairness, this, is perfect for a big meetup. If you want to do a meetup with me and you're a vanner or a camper or something, whatever you want to do, let me know and we'll have a meetup in this car park because this is bonkersly big. As if you've got a mountain bike or an electric bike or something like that as well, that'll be even better still because the next time I come, I'm going to bring them with me because there's cycle tracks all over this forest and up around the back there. There's actually a cyclist going over the reservoir now. But yeah, there's a big, big tracks everywhere Oliver you can cover a lot of ground if we had the bike I just didn't bring it with me this weekend so that's the plan the plan is no plan let's see if we can finish this next 24 hours and get a couple of shots decided to go for a bit of a walk up the hill which is a cup of coffee and a cookie and uh, we just thought we'd come and have a walk and see what's up this hill you know to maybe get a sunset or something shot if it's nice uh, got a couple of ideas of locations to go and have a look at but without coming up the hill and having a look, you don't know what they're like. So we're not dressed for the occasion as such. She's got a t-shirt on. So hopefully the weather doesn't change all of a sudden. Um, there's some nice rocks here behind us. There's a few rocks, which is why we're climbing up to have a look. And there's a few up behind me as well. We're gonna go up to the top, maybe and have a look over the top and see what it looks like. And then we're gonna make some plans or not, as the case may be kind of windy where we are now we've come right over the top the top's just there i've come right over the top now looking over the other side kind of planning to go up that way with the van and stop somewhere up there that was my idea uh, i'm not quite 100 percent sure where we're going to yet but i'm just taking a couple of shots this direction i've taken a couple of shots that direction because it's just stunning these beautiful clouds the puffy blue stuff that's coming through or the puffy clouds on the blue stuff and you've got the light rays coming you know the light rays not light rays i think a light and shade going across the land it's just absolutely fantastic really really nice oh, i keep saying that don't i the last couple of videos but it is it's just been pleasant absolutely pleasant and uh, sharing it with nice as well is really cool but it is a really really nice scene just look at this look at look at look at this i've got scenes down excuse me i've got scenes down this way Nigel's over there and I've got scenes down that way. The only thing I'm hoping and making sure is that all the cows and the young um, calves stay right over there because you had to drive past them and they weren't keen. If they come over here, I'm legging it back because they are not the friendliest when they've got calves with them. Uh, yeah, keep away from cows when they've got calves. But yeah, it's, it's, this is a really, really nice location and I've never seen it anywhere on any vlogs or videos. Uh, it's quite out of the way. Um, but I will be back. I will definitely, definitely be back. What a place. What a beautiful place. And almost quiet as well. There's no footpaths up here. We've just rambled up over the fields. There is a style though. There's a style to get over. So, right, I'm going to shut up and uh, yeah, just suck it all up. Suck it all up. Suck it in. Deep breaths. Whew. Yeah. Wow. white rock a boulder down on the foreground 
So I've brought my tripod really low just so I can get that boulder in the bottom. And as this sink, it adds to the image because it gives you some foreground. Then you've got these diagonal lines sweeping through the image. Then you've got the reservoir in the background. And then you've got the hills in the far distance with the dappled light on. And I just think it really all adds together and really looks quite nice. In fact, this shot I've just taken has got Nigel sitting on the bank as well. And I think that gives some scale to the size of the where we're sitting. Um, but yeah, really, really, really nice. Especially when you're watching the clouds blow along. This is the kind of skies I quite like um, because it's it's fluffy clouds and they're blowing along and they're causing this dappled light that just moves across the countryside and it just looks amazing to watch. Really, really quite pleasing on the old eyeballs. But it's chilly because I haven't bought my jacket. I've just come down this this bit yonder, looking over the edge, and uh, I want to have a look at the beach. And I took a panel on my phone, going up on the screen for you now. Holy moly, I've got to try and get a panel on my camera now. It is pretty good. So we've got to put the camera in full manual uh, to take advantage of it. Take the polarizer off and try and get this panel because I think it's going to look amazing. It almost reminds me a bit of what the Faroe Islands looked like when I was there a few weeks ago. And again, anyone that fancies going to the Faroe Islands, I've got a trip, September 2023. I haven't got dates at the moment because I'm waiting for the flights to become available. And I've got two places left and it's going to be very, very affordable. If you're interested, drop me a comment and then we'll get in contact. So two places left for the Faroe Islands, five nights, September 2023. Don't be shy, give us a shout. Yeah, go on. So we're just running around this hillside and Nigel's doing his selfies. Look, look at him, he's, getting, he's got right posy these days. He's uh, just up here to the right. Look at him, posing on the rock. I wonder where he got that idea from, eh? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> got to do a selfie, haven't you? It's really, it's good, isn't it? Because it's got something to remember then, haven't you? And that's how I've always thought of. I thought, yeah, I've got the idea of doing selfies from Mr. Mr. Sale originally, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it's just moved on from then. And then you sort of look at people like um, Mads Iverson, uh, Mads Peter Iverson, who's, who puts a human element, i.e. himself most of the times, in an image. And I've got to admit, since I've had these new red pants, well, they just look the business, I think, when you do a selfie with a bit of sunlight on them. Um, now I went down the other side a little bit. Nigel decided to come this way. We couldn't find each other. And guess what? We didn't have our radios on us this time because we've come in our civvies. And uh, I found him. I found his head. I could see his head. That's all I could see. And I've run around this side. But I think, <laughs> um, I think we're going to make our way around. Maybe try and get down to the coast and walk around the coastline and have a explore around there. And then I think it's time for another brew and a bit of a drive and see if we can find a nice place for a park up. Just literally so we can open the van door in the morning at five o'clock, open the doors, take a picture. But for now, I'm gonna shut up and just take a few more selfies and rocks and landscapey biscuit tin pictures. That's all. We've made it down to the seaside. Uh, we're actually at the seaside now, which is quite nice. Well, we're on the shoreline anyway, not the seaside, is it? Um, yeah, we've managed to come down. It's quite a nice little walk down again. And we've got some pretty good rocks. now. Yes, we're looking into this picture postcard type of image again. You know, it's looking down into the, I was going to call it a fjord then, <laughs> down into the reservoir. Um, I just found this perfect rock for Mrs. C. Let me just show you this first. Everywhere I go, and I'm sure I've mentioned this in the past, I try and find rocks that look like hearts. It's just 
make sure my tripod's not gonna fall over. And look at this one for a perfect, perfect heart. Look at that. Mrs. C, this one's for you. How cool is that, eh? And I did actually balance that on there myself. Is that better? You can see me face now. The face, where I was facing just now, you couldn't see me, could you? I was in, in the shade. Um, yeah, so we're on the shoreline and I just want to try and use some of these rocks to make it a little bit more interesting. And they are quite nice. There's a little bit of lichen on them. Um, there's some texture in it, but I think I've got to get down really low to make the most of it. I think. I'm sure I can get one shot here and then we're going to make our way round. Oh, I'm in a hole. We're going to make our way back round there. You can see the, the reservoir dam on that side. So we need to just make our way round there. I think we can get almost along the, the edge, along the shoreline. So we'll just make our way over these rocks back to the van and move on. Yeah, this is, this is just too easy. Far too easy. Anyone that says they don't get a good shot, these are good shots. These are all good. They're not super epics, but they're good shots. They're nice photographs. And Nigel just said he's thoroughly enjoying this because we're somewhere different, somewhere new, and we're just wandering around and exploring and enjoying it. It's all good stuff. So hello, we are back on. Um, I think, and Nigel's just ripped my ripped ripped off my idea. <laughs> I'm just taking a shot from here, just have a bit of a test of the sunset because um, it is now sunset time. We've had a bit of a nap, and I've had me tea, and I've sat out in the sun. I've had me jackery out, and I've recharged me jackery with the solar panel and all sorts like that. But I think in what I'm thinking is, I took a shot from where I was, and I'll show you the difference between the two. And now I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do. I think a shot from further up here because the further I move up the side of the road I'm getting more of a snake from the river and I think I just plonked myself in front of the tripod <laughs> his tripod which is a bit naughty um, but yeah I think I prefer coming a bit more side on rather than straight on but you've got to be careful that you don't lose the river as well at the same time because um, you've got this nice snaking river coming through the shot but I think slightly side on is better because you're not quite directly into the sunlight so I think this is going to work a little bit better than the other one there is a lovely leading line you can't you can't argue the fact I haven't got a massive amount of sky in there um, but we're shooting towards the sunlight it's making a really nice looking image but extremely hard to shoot because you obviously get the sun flare now I'm going to keep cleaning my lens and hope it works uh, I'll take one like this to give you an idea of what it's like and I'm going to drop the exposure and just can't try and keep the tones in the sky as best I can. But hopefully the sun's going to go behind a cloud in a moment and that might give us even more of an opportunity. But we are going to finish here. We may end up moving tonight. Um, we're almost certain we're staying in, in place. We had a security guard come around a little bit earlier on saying you're not supposed to stop anywhere around this reservoir. You're not supposed to stop anywhere in Wales. You're not supposed to stop anywhere, anywhere. And asked, you know, said, you know, you can't sleep in the vehicles. But he did say we're allowed to park here all night if we want to. Um, we just can't sleep in the van. That is absolutely insane bonkaloonies. What's the point? What is the difference between parking here and not sleeping in the van? So we're going to park here. We're not going to go to sleep. And uh, we're going to take pictures all night. How do they know the difference? So we're going to play it by ear like that. Some of you may argue the fact and tell me off. And some of you may agree. So you can probably see that... Nigel is a grad user. He's a, he likes his grads, but he's thinking about coming over to a case system, um, like magnetic system. Um, not necessarily case, free well or someone like that as well. Um, but he does like his grads, and I don't use grads anymore. Do you still use grads? Anyone out there still use grads? And if you do, why? Uh, drop us a comment, let us know your reasons, because I just don't bother anymore. I'm getting a, near, a nearly okay histogram it's just touching the whites a little bit but the sun's super bright anyway um, and i can also balance my exposure by taking several shots so is there a particular reason why you you know you, you need to use grads anymore or am i just missing it because um, i haven't used them for years but i've still got them i've still got them all um, i used to keep them in the van but i just don't have them in the van anymore but yeah do you use them and if so why or if you don't use them 
if so why let me know let me know what you think um, mine's just purely because it's lighter and easy to carry one little tiny pouch around that's all sun's gone down a little bit lower uh, still above the the hill um, we've had some shafts of light we've had some light rays coming across the sky which has been quite nice the sky sort of moved across in front of the sun and then it's moving past it so it's very very changeable we don't know what it's going to do whether we're going to end up with something really magical it'd be beautiful we get a really magical color sky i haven't seen one of them for ages and ages and ages um, but that'd be really great because we've got a lovely leading line from this water if you've already seen them other images i've kept the same composition i haven't moved I've, i haven't deviated i've stood in exactly the same place bracket in my exposure to try and balance that sky and keep that sort of light in and everything and the light rays so yeah hopefully you know you've enjoyed that one so far um it's been a bit of a not ah oh, i don't know it's been a bit of a strange day for me again and another one that's a bit different we've gone onto a hill and walked around took loads of shots of a similar sort of thing but yeah it's another strange one do i ever make anything other than strange videos that's the question not really we got some wicked clouds going on up there and we just felt a couple of spots of rain which is strange we're not quite sure where it's coming from it's obviously being blown in by the wind um but there's some beautiful clouds up there really really nice the sky's just moved again so what i've actually done is i've gone wider because i've got these beautiful rays coming out the top of the clouds which is really wicked um, and i've got this atmospheric cloud over to the left very moody looking so i've gone wider exactly the same composition i've just gone wider um, just to give me more sky in the image but yeah that is pretty insane going on at the moment let's see what it turns into I think we're going to get got in some weather um, there's some low cloud behind me that's drifting over really really fast there's just this big patch just thundering across the sky I don't know if you can see it I don't know if a, yeah you can see it now now I've changed the exposure on the on the camera it's just up there see this bit here just watch that how fast that's moving it's coming over really quick and the sky there's thickened up we think that's going to be a storm by the looks of it it's, it's quite a lot there's a bit going on over this side as well but that's looking really ominous at the moment but i'm zoomed in again on the camera i'm just keeping one eye over my shoulder we're gonna have to leg it around the corner to the van if it just goes bang but i'm praying i'm praying i'm praying that we have this massive thunderstorm tonight because that would be awesome in the van absolutely awesome especially if i can get a photograph out the door but yeah it's definitely the sky's changed again in front i've gone in tighter i've got some cracking moody sort of sky going on um i've shot all these at f14 and i'm just literally just bracketing up and bracketing down just to keep all the tones in in the sky make sure i don't clip anything out light rays are just appearing again oh my goodness that's cool i like that two tone where you get the light ray come through and it's light above and dark below little shards coming out so there's a lot going on in front so it might turn into something good or it might turn into something bad it's on its way everything's changing the atmosphere's changing the sky is changing the feelings changing the temperature's changing the spots on my back and my camera are changing the weather is definitely closing in on us and it's rain is coming down over the top of these hills properly i mean if i can get the, the exposure to work on the on this camera there you go you can see it dropping now there this is this is definitely coming over to get us so i'm going to be ending this video in a moment so thank you for watching um the sky in front's still doing something but it's it's six or one after we're only 150 yards from the van so i can leg it round. so i'm gonna i'm gonna hand it stand out as long as i can to try and get this something going on here um but i don't want to get pummeled if you know what i mean it's, it's a shame to get soaking wet just for the sake of it but it'll test me new trousers out won't it let's face it um yeah i'm going to stick it out as long as i can it's, dri it's drizzling but it's not raining even though i can hear the pitter patter on my helmet on my hat so thank you for watching uh please like and subscribe hit that subscribe um button down there if you're not already subscribed to the channel there's a little bell next to it if you can just tap the little bell you'll get notified on the further videos and future videos that i bring out or any shorties and stuff like that, that i pop along the channel and um ciao for now ciao for now <laughs> he's a bit soon what have they got to do hey.
Yeah. Like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Hit yeah. the notification yeah. bell in the bottom corner. Yeah, and it helps with the algorithms. It does. Perfect. Oh, and the thumbs up. Don't forget the thumbs up. Got to give us a thumbs up as well. That always helps as well. See? Ciao for now. Bye, bye, bye. Oh my God, it's coming. The well is turned pants. Pants! It was a beautiful looking uh, sunray, sunset, sorry, and then the rain came in with this wind and it 